Hey guys, this is your Toast of Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potential severe weather outbreak that will likely occur across multiple portions of the United States over the next week or so. Before we go into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the Storm Prediction Center's Day 3 outlook. This is for Friday of this week, which is in about 2-3 to three days. And you can see there is a very large slight risk across much of Texas, Louisiana, into Mississippi, and Oklahoma, with 25.7 million people in it, with cities like Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin, Fort Worth. And there is a significant hatched region here as well, which has the greatest chance to become upgraded to an enhanced risk in future outlooks. That includes 12 million people from Dallas, Austin, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, and Arlington, where large hail, damaging winds, and a few tornadoes are likely. This is the Storm Prediction Center's Day 4 outlook. This would be Saturday. And there is a just about 16 million people in it. This is basically a slight risk in other terms here, just 15%. And it takes up a large portion of the south here, including New Orleans, Atlanta, Birmingham, Montgomery, Tallahassee. All those cities in this yellow region are expected to receive severe weather on Saturday. All hazards are possible. Large hail, damaging winds, a few tornadoes. This is the Storm Prediction Center's Day 7 outlook. This is quite uncommon to see a risk highlighted on Day 7 this far out. And this would be Tuesday of next week, exactly, just about, almost exactly a week from now. And you can see a 15% once again in Texas and Oklahoma, 11 million people, Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Arlington. Again, all hazards are expected, large hail, damaging winds, and a few tornadoes. There is also a severe risk expected in day 8 and all other days in between. Each day is expected to have severe weather somewhere, though certainty isn't quite high on those other days. This is the latest GFS model for surface space CAPE. This is basically all the available um, energy in the atmosphere. And the higher the number, the more unstable the environment is. And you can see this would be Friday, and you can see high amounts of 1 to 2,000 in Texas and Oklahoma as that pushes eastward towards the south and peaks spikes up again on Saturday, April 24th with one to two and a half thousand. Those are quite some high numbers that continues in portions of the south before pushing off towards the water by Sunday. And then on Monday, April 26th, you can see some lots of 2000 plus in that yellow there uh, for Cape in Iowa and Midwest area. However, if we do look at the sounding for this area, you can see surface base Cape 3000, that's a very high number. And it's only showing marginal severe and the other parameters aren't as impressive. That is because there is a cap and quite a strong one as well, where storms might not even form because of the cap. If the cap gets weaker and the instability stays the same, we could see some severe storms in this region, but for now, the cap will likely keep things in check. As we go into Tuesday, April 27th, this is where we'll have a large region where severe thunderstorms will be possible, from as far south as Texas and Louisiana, and as far north as Minnesota and Wisconsin, with 500 to 1,500 um, joules per kilogram for Cape. And it's overall looking like a pretty dangerous couple of days for the next week. As that spikes up again in the east later on towards May. I will acknowledge there is a possibility of a tornado outbreak for portions of the south later this week. In one of the days I highlighted, day four, day three. However, things are kind of uncertain for those days. Um, especially regarding the significant tornado potential. So we will have to keep an eye out on that, but I will not be surprised to see a moderate risk from the Storm Prediction Center by day one. 
That's the stress of weather forecast for this upcoming potential severe weather outbreak. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.